In this tutorial, we'll demonstrate how to receive a purchase order through ReceiveBridge. ReceiveBridge opens to a grid window. Click the Refresh List button at the top right to populate the grid with all open purchase orders. You can also filter by a specific PO number, as well as by product ID, vendor, buyer, or company. Select a PO from the grid and click Scan Purchase Order at the top right of the page. Alternatively, you can click the Scan Purchase Order button to open the PO window and enter the purchase order number. In the PO window, enter or scan the product SKU or UPC in this field. Now enter the amount of units in the shipment and click Mark as Received. Quantity value entered will appear in the Quantity to be Received field for a final review. Now click Save Received Data at the bottom of the page. The quantity to be received field will empty into the quantity received field and the PO status will update to received. As soon as the item is received, inventory in Seller Cloud will be updated to reflect the received quantity. When an item has been fully received, the row will change from orange to green. Purchase orders can be partially received as well. This includes both receiving a partial quantity of an item and receiving a specific line item of a multi-item purchase order. When an item is only partially received, the row will be colored blue. Sometimes you may have one product that displays on two grid rows. This is often the case when there is a tiered cost arrangement with the vendor. For example, when the first 100 items are set at $1 a piece, and quantity above that threshold costs less, entering the SKU will grab both line items. But you can select which ones to receive by clicking on the checkbox next to the item line. Close the PO window and click Refresh List. If the purchase order has been fully received, that order will not appear in the refreshed list. When receiving purchase order, a prompt may require you to enter the product's serial number. This will only occur if that product has been configured to ship with a serial number scan. Working with serial numbers is explained in greater detail in another video tutorial. The cross dock column displays quantities of units needed to fill back orders. For example, let's say an order came in for five units of an item out of stock. Now you have a back order to fill. When receiving the PO, the cross dock column, informs the receiving department that five units are needed to fill an order. Instead of stocking all units on the shelf, they can direct those units to the shipping department to fill the order more quickly. You can also create a pick list for cross dock items. Right click on the screen and select Create Pick List to generate a pick list for back ordered items. Pickers can then take the number of units they need to the shipping station. Creating a pick list for cross dock items will also help the shipping department locate the back orders. In ShipBridge, there is a filter for pick list ID. The shipper can take the generated cross docked pick lists, enter the pick list ID, and the back order of this item will display in the grid. By right clicking on the item row, you can perform multiple actions, like editing product details or printing a barcode label for each unit. By default, the number of labels to print will match the quantity being received, but you can edit this number. Select a barcode type and a printer, then print, or download the label as a PDF. You can also edit or undo a receiving of a purchase order. Because received purchase orders are removed from the grid, editing a purchase order can only be done in Seller Cloud. Open the Receive Shipment page of the purchase order. Open the Action menu and click Edit Receiving. Now enter a new quantity and click Update. If you are changing the status to Not Received, enter a zero and then click Update. The status of the purchase order will revert to Not Received. For more information on receiving a purchase order, please visit wiki.sellercloud.com.